If you're a shrimp fan, we have a recipe for you. Perfectly cooked shrimp tossed in garlic butter, lemon, chives, what else do you need? When you have good ingredients like this, keep it simple. So let's begin. Shrimp, butter, shallot, chive, garlic, and lemon. So the first job is to clean our shrimp. So we have two different bowls here. One is for waste and one is for the heads and shells. So the heads just pop off. Then we're going to remove the vein with a paring knife like so. Just pinch the end and they come right out. And now peel the shells off of the shrimp. I like to keep a little segment on the end with the tail, but you can pop this off too if you prefer. It's always a good idea to keep the heads and shells that come in handy for other recipes. So we have our cleaned shrimp. And now we're just gonna butterfly them. You can butterfly your shrimp from the top or the bottom. Today I'm going with the bottom. This will help the shrimp cook more evenly, a bit faster, and will help with the presentation. Make sure to season both sides of the shrimp. Hot pan, olive oil, put our shrimp in one by one. Now it's very important that we don't overcook our shrimp because they'll become stringy. So after about 20 or 30 seconds, we're gonna flip our shrimp. Start with the shrimp that you put in the pan first, continue with the second and third, fourth, etc. It's important to keep track so that your shrimp are cooked at the same rate. So this is exactly what we're looking for here. It's not too firm, but it's obviously cooked and it's still juicy. So in the same pan, we're gonna throw in some butter. Next, we're gonna throw in some chopped garlic, and then an equal amount of chopped shallot. And now we're going to turn the heat down a little bit. We just want a little bit of color on our garlic and shallots, not too much. Also, if you see any shrimp bits stuck to the pan, scrape them, that's extra flavor. Squeeze your lemon in at this point. So our garlic and shallots have a little bit of color. We're gonna put in our chopped chives, turn the heat off, and then we're gonna throw our shrimp back into the pan and toss the shrimp in the butter. Toss the shrimp in the butter for about five to 10 seconds, and then we're going to plate. So we're gonna arrange these nicely on the plate. Nothing too fancy. If you're doing canapes or a muse-bouche or a small starter, you can just put a few shrimp on the plate or it could be a main course. Don't forget to spoon on that wonderful sauce and garnish. This recipe is super easy, it's delicious. Anyone could make it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoy our content, consider supporting us on Patreon. The link is below. Happy cooking!